Throughout his entire career, James Cracciolo has proven himself to be distinctly skilled at building business. It's in his DNA. My oldest brother became an engineer, civil engineer, uh-huh. and uh, he, uh, he worked for many years. He, was, he actually advanced to the head of the assistant director of the Port Authority in New York, New mm-hmm. Jersey, so the trade centers, the bridges and stuff. So when I was growing up, I always admired. He was the first one to go to college, et cetera. And uh, of the, my brothers, he was the oldest, 10 years older. So I thought I was going to be an engineer. I was very good at math. Uh, and then as I applied, I started to really think about what I wanted to do uh, in relationship to the engineering. And I found that I wanted to actually uh, think about how to build things rather than actually work on the building. James went to work for American Express in 1982. He quickly moved up from controller to CFO. Early on, he made his mark working in direct marketing where he built a half a billion dollar merchandising business. In fact, my first visits to Minnesota was working with the Colson Marketing Group that was our distributor. Uh, and so I used to come out here in the dead of winter and go up to the warehouse in Litchfield, Minnesota. After traveling the world for American Express and running all of its international operations, James was named chairman and CEO of Minneapolis-based American Express Financial Advisors in 2000. Five years later, he faced his biggest challenge, a multi-billion dollar spinoff into Ameriprise Financial. It was the sixth largest spinoff in U.S. history. As you would imagine, over the years, a lot got integrated with American Express. We had the American Express brand. Uh, We had all of our technology integrated. Uh, We had all of our operational units and staff units integrated as part of an operating company with American Express. So I was given nine months to separate and bring this public. Just two years later, the financial crisis struck. James led his team through tough times by sticking to their core businesses. When the government had to bail out many financial services companies and offer them top funding, uh, we were one of the few companies that turned them down. Ameriprise was able to loan its clients $700 million to weather the crisis and also made large strategic acquisitions during that time. But James isn't one to rest on his laurels. Um, running the company, running the business, uh, working with all my people, and dealing with all the things that you have to deal with. You've mentioned the regulatory, but um, it's building a business globally, it's understanding how to energize 20,000 people around the world, et cetera. Uh, I do spend a lot of time and effort. So this is not only a day job, it's a full-time job. Um, and it's, it's something that I put a lot into, and uh, as long as I can continue to do that appropriately, I'll continue to want to engage and not retire. Uh, At the point when that changes, then I'll worry about my next step, and maybe I'll think of something else that I can use all my energies for.